All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a topless male with logos and joggers. I'm also showing you how to make this outfit because the, it also doubles as a C2 keep. Now, I know that the navy smart jacket is, is like really ugly, so you can't really like wear that as an outfit. So the cool thing about this outfit is that you can both wear it as an outfit and also use it as a C2 keep. But to set this outfit up, you just need a pair of joggers. I'm just going to use the ones from the Warlord outfit that you can get from CEO outfits. So to set that up, just put your joggers on. And then we're going to go into sports jackets. And then we're going to go down to number 62. We're going to put on the blue sprayed goofy puffer here. Now underneath this, if you want a belt on the finished outfit, go into gun running and apply the sand t-shirt. If you don't want a belt, you can set this to none. Now you can choose some shoes from the store, any that you like, we're using an Israel bag for this Beth, so that is going to ignore the shoes, so whichever shoes you choose on your C1 is the ones you are going to get on your finished outfit. I went with these all white sports shoes, and then if you want to put a chain on and whatever you can do that now, but I just went into the accessories just to remove the chain, and then I also um, applied a rebreather just to remove all the head stuff. So once you've got this outfit here together, we're going to save this in slot 20 and we're going to label that as C1. And then for our C2 outfit, we're just going to use a racing suit. We're actually going to use the top on these two outfits to merge and then we're going to use the racing suit to change the joggers. So the navy racing suit is green and then the grey is the orange joggers, purple, pink red and then the white racing suit is the blue joggers i'm going for the blue joggers so i'm just going to apply the white racing suit and then i'm going to save that in slot two and i'm going to call that c2 another thing we have to add to this outfit to make sure that the top the no top merges on correctly is we also have to apply a pair of gray digital tactical gloves to c2 so we want the racing suit with the gray digital tactical gloves and we are going to save that in slot two for C2. Now into our merge spot we're just going to go over to a clothing rack and we'll just set it to no top. I also didn't want any gloves on the finished outfit so I went over to accessories and then just removed the gloves. You can also do it through the interaction menu if you want to. But I just wanted the plain no top so I just made sure I had that set up properly. And then I'm going to save that in slot 1 and I'm going to label that outfit as Merge because that's the slot that I use to, for Crooked Cop. So that's our C1 outfit that we want here. And then the C2 outfit is our racing suit with our gloves. And then in our Merge position is, a, is the top that we want, which in this case is no top. So once you've got those three outfits set up, we're going to go outside and we'll open up the interaction menu. And we'll go into Style. We'll go to parachute and we'll make sure that the parachute bag style is set to Israel. And then we'll go to our outfit, we'll apply our C1 outfit, we'll go into parachute and we'll set that to on. We'll close the interaction menu, we'll wait for the safe circle to finish. And then we'll hold down on the D-pad and then flick up to Franklin. On this alert you will cut the net that goes to your console. Now once you've done that, you will spam your way into an invite-only session on your C2, that's your console 2. So both of your accounts will be logged in at the same time at this point. On C2, you will open up the interaction menu, you will go into Style, Outfit, and you will apply the C2 outfit. Close the interaction menu, wait for the save circle to finish, and then you will just exit back to Story. Now C2 will be like up in the clouds, you'll give it about sort of 10 to 15 seconds. You'll reapply the outfit and then close the interaction menu just to start off the save circle. Once the save circle starts, you just reconnect your net cut and then hopefully that save circle will finish before you get kicked back to story. So once you find yourself back in story, your C2 should log out automatically. That is when you can go back into an online session. And then once you spawn online, you should have you should be wearing something like this. Uh, my joggers here have changed to blue. You, yours would have changed to whichever colour you chose. You'll be wearing the default navy racing suit top. So we can go into Crooked Cop. It's a versus job and we'll set it to player owned clothing. Once we're in Crooked Cop, we'll just go over to the outfit that we labelled as Merge. 
and then we'll go back to our current outfit so that it's together with the logos and the joggers and all the other other stuff so you're ready up you'll enter the job just open up the interaction menu and just apply an earpiece just to save the outfit and then we'll just quit through creator and then back into an invite only session once we're back in an invite only session you can just remove the earpiece and then we're going to save this back over our slot 20 as c1 now this here you can already go ahead and use as a c2 keep because you know the torso one and the shoes don't matter on c2 but for me i'm actually going to strip off the belt and also like wear this around as well as use it as a c2 keep so i'm just going to i applied my spike to cuffs because i always do and then i'm going to save this back over in slot 20. Now to put the belt that you want on this outfit, I'm going to use the paramedic belt because it's always the safe choice if you've got one. I'm just going to pick that up and I'm going to save that over my slot one, over my slot labelled merge. And then once we've got those two outfits saved in those positions, we're just going to go into heist coveralls and we're just going to apply the quarantine, that's this blue one here. And then we will just head to the nearest telescope where we are going to glitch the mask from this outfit, this coveralls outfit, onto our C1 outfit. That's where you run past the telescope. Hold down on the D-pad. You'll get the animation to face the telescope, but you won't look through it. You just open up the interaction menu and apply the outfit labeled C1. You'll see the mask glitch on. You can head to the mask store and then we'll just save this back over C1. Now once you've got that done, just open up the interaction menu, change your outfit, just put your C1 back, outfit back on, spam it for about 10 seconds, wait for the safe circle to finish, and then you can enter a titan of a job, and we'll strip that t-shirt off so we can replace it with the belt. Now when you've loaded into titan of a job, if you see that the sand gun running t-shirt has disappeared, you can go and save this at a gun store. And we're just going to go to the you know outfit menu and we'll just save this back over our c1 spot now i tend to change my outfit before i leave you can do it after it doesn't matter but you'll see me here apply the outfit that i've got the belt on and then you can just open up the pause menu and then just find a new session once you're back in an online session, if you try to, if you open up your interaction menu and you try to select your C1 outfit, you'll find that you can't select it. That that's a good sign. That means we can enter a crooked cop and we'll just replace that merge component that we made for our torso one. So once we're in here, we're just going to go left once to C1, and then that'll just put that belt on with our, you know, outfit. So once in here, we'll just apply an earpiece once again, and then we can just quit through either through creator or into an online session if you want to because this outfit is you know it's it's a it's a topless male but i'm going to use it as a c2 keep but also between outfits i'm probably going to like wear it around so i thought it would be cool to share with you guys because i know that c2 keeps are actually really freaking ugly so i hope you had fun making this outfit i thought it was really cool and I, I know that it's is actually a really cool outfit so thank you for watching and if you if you go and yeah so to use this as a c2 keep you can just change the pants you know because usually for c2 keep we use sand cargos for merging so keep this video in mind because to make c1 logo outfits you're going to need a c2 keep 